The whole point of a business is that it buys stock and it turns it into sales. So it's very important that we turn stock into sales and therefore cash in as soon or short a time as possible. So the basic way a business works is it buys stock from a supplier or a creditor and then we put it on the shelf and then we sell it to the customer. And what we'd like to know is on average, how many days does it take to turn these purchases of stock into sales? That'd be a really good figure to have. And to do that, we use a ratio called stock turnover ratio. And you can actually calculate it a couple of ways. One is the number of times stock has been turned into sales during the period. And two, the average number of days it takes to, to sell out all of our stock. So let's look at the first one. The first ratio was uh, in terms of the number of times per period stock is turned over into sales. So we would do that by taking the cost of goods sold for the period and dividing it by the average stock level. And the alternative is we can do it by the average number of days uh, that it actually takes to turn purchases of stock into sales. Uh, so we do that one by doing the average stock. We times it by 365, as in the number of days in a year. And then we divide that by cost of goods sold. Uh, the alternative is once we've figured out the uh, number of times per year ratio in the above formula, we can actually then uh, calculate stock turnover in days quite easily. We just do 365 divided by stock turnover ratio. So we just go and get this number here and we just put it down here and that'll actually give us the same figure as if we do all this legwork here. So it's good to be flexible and know how to calculate it each way. Let's use an example. A business had the following end of year data from 2014 to 2015. We've got cost of goods sold during 2015 of 40,000. And we've got stock at the beginning at the, the end of 2014 was 18,000. And at the end of 2015 it was 22,000. So what is the stock turnover ratio for 2015? The first way to calculate that was as the number of times per period, which was just the stock turnover ratio. So we take the cost of goods sold, which was 40,000. We're going to divide that by the average stock level. So in this case, we would take the amount of stock at the end of the beginning of the period, the amount of stock at the end of the period, and just divide it by two. So in this case, we'd get 20,000, and we'd say that is a stock turnover ratio of 2.0. So what does that number mean? We'll look at that in the next video. Uh, a better ratio in terms of understanding is the stock turnover in days ratio because that actually kind of puts it in a figure that means something straight away. And what we do is we do the average stock times 365. So the average stock was 20,000. We're going to times that by 365 and then divide that by the cost of goods sold. And if we do that, we get 183 days. So that one means we take 183 days on average to sell out our stock.